Hey everyone, I'm Helen from Clear Ads and I'm here to take you on a little tour around Amazon DSP. If you've never seen the platform in action, I just thought it was the prime time to show you exactly what this can do. It's just incredible and I love it so much. Um, you probably heard me waxing lyrical about it in, in different um, calls and things. But anyway, um, the best thing about Amazon DSP, I think, in my opinion, it, the different audiences that you can access there's so much information. So obviously Amazon is huge anyway and has access to so much uh, data that they've put it all together here. Um, you can see you can target people with your ads who are in market for specific products. Um, they, you can target people of certain demographics. So age, male or female. Um, you can look at their income. So you can become really granular with who you're hitting your ads to. So you can start off quite broad, for example, in market for um, floor standing fountains. Not sure who's doing that, but anyway, someone is. Um, but then you can say, I only want to target men who are between certain ages and with an income over 100,000 a year. Um, so this is uh, a way we can make advantage of Amazon's audiences that they've already put together. And you can see here there's a forecasted reach um, about those audiences and um, a cost as well per milli, so per thousand to hit that audience. Even better than that, though, is we can create custom audiences. So you can put in your ASINs and you can target people who have viewed, looked at similar products or searched for that product anywhere up to 90 days ago. So unlike sponsored display, which is set at 30 days and is unmovable, this one you can really stretch the limits or the boundaries of, of who you're targeting to. And you can go up to 365 days for people who have purchased your products. And that's great if you've got a product which isn't sold that regularly or, or repeated repeat purchases purchased that frequently. So if you sold something, it mainly sells at Christmas, you can target to people who bought your product 365 days ago specifically. Or if you're selling shampoo, which people are buying a lot more frequently, you can say, I want to market to people who have looked at my product in the last 30 days, for example, um, but not purchased in the last 60. So um, we can create really custom audiences, which is fantastic, I think. You can also hit certain brands. So I want to market to people who have looked at personal products. And again, you can go into deep down into the categories and say, I just want to look at people who or market to people who are looking at the laundry sector, for example. And you can put up to 10 different brands or 10 different categories within that brand as well in that audience that you can create. You can also market to people who have seen certain shows. So people who have looked at beauty programs like Beauty and the Geek, for example, and then I can market to them up to 10 different shows, um, my beauty products. If they're watching those shows, there's a chance they're interested in those products. So uh, yeah, you can keep remarketing top of funnel. This is like top of funnel activity, showing people who might not be aware of your brand, um, your, your products. And then you can create lots of different ads as well. So um, videos, desktop ads, mobile ads, responsive ads, which are really clever. They sort of mutate to the best form for that product um, and that customer at that time on that page. Um, you can also create your own videos. So uh, you may be seeing this elsewhere, but this is like a slideshow, which you can create really cheaply, but it is it acts like a video. Um, and then once you're inside that ad, you can add reviews, headlines, um, logos here so you can even put your own custom images in so you can change the image that's shown to, to customers which makes it pop makes it stand out more on the page when you're advertising um, and finally you can put all that together in your line item um, you can choose your category there you can decide where your ads are shown on the open exchange or um, just to amazon customers uh, you can decide which country they're in which state they're in even if you're targeting to people who are in hot countries you can be really specific um, and then you put your custom audiences in here or you select your the pre um, created audiences from amazon here and this is where you can negate those audiences as well you can say people who have viewed my product but not purchased in the last 30 days for example um, and then here is where once you've put that information in you get a forecast of how much it's going to cost you and the reach of that that ad as well so I love DSP. I hope you've enjoyed my tour um, and that maybe you'll get involved in DSP sometime soon as well. All the best. Take care. Bye.